If you're really passionate about biology or biology research or infectious disease or, or cancer or any area of medicine, uh, either training as a medical doctor or training as a researcher, you have a big advantage if you've also got really good mathematical skills. So keep that in your thinking as you decide what sort of courses you're going to line up for over these next few years because we need people in what we call computational biology. People who can handle both the understanding of the biology and these enormous data sets that we're now generating due to modern molecular technology. We're facing exactly the same problem that people face in climate science or astrophysics or any other area where there's traditionally been big data. There are also some more traditional areas in biomedicine that really require mathematical skills. We think particularly of the area of epidemiology, uh, how infectious diseases, for example, work in the community, or cancer or anything else for that matter. So if you're good at math, keep it up there.